Welcome to my house. I am from me buckle, you're fishing with Uncle Buck. I'm here with the next video in line in our boat series here. And this time we're gonna we're gonna test out the Gary Scott Sagita bass boat. That pretty blue one. So let's go over there, take a look at this boat, see what the specs are on it. doing that it takes so long to load there we go all right so buck your head's in the way buddy get out of the way there we are all right durability on this guy 2500 length 24 point comma three feet width six comma seven feet weight 25 35 fiberglass Two 250 horsepower engines, and of course, it's got the Gary Scott Elite Pro Echo Sounder on it. Their auto orders, GPS, yes, and detailing ultra. And it's a pretty snazzy boat, no doubt about it. Pretty snazzy boat. Um, a lot of front end, a lot of front end on this boat. Um, I will say that it's probably. Probably out of the Orion, the Scorpius, and this one. It's my least favorite boat to fish out of. Um, lot, just a lot of front end. Now, if I'm going down to Blue Crab, where, where we're at now testing this, and I'm just down there farming, and I'm not actually going to fish out of a boat, I'm just going to take the boat to get down by the barge there to the spot, then I always take this. It's fast. And if I'm going to go out and play around in the back a little bit, it's still a good boat for the wider channels not not a problem there um, it's just a big boat and if you get back into some of them little tiny canals it's it's a little it's a little tough to get it maneuvered around um, that's why I like my rubber boats for that back the back 40 there at blue crab I like my rubber boats I like to fish out of them they're my favorite all right guys well I guess I covered everything here on the stats the specs we know what we got let's uh Let's head over there to Mississippi. We'll give this thing a whirl. We'll see you there. All right, guys. What we got here is the Gary Scott Sagita Bass Boat. Pretty sweet little thing there. Got the power poles on it. Your dual 250 horsepower. Not too sad to call there. Let's take it for a ride here and see what happens. Uh oh, what happened to my. There we go. Alright, we got that out of the way. <clears throat> Alright, so let's take a look at what we got here. Detailing on this guy um, Ultra. We've got a blue. It doesn't look metal flake though, but it is a it's quite like the green metal flake of the Orion. Um, no gauges. That up around the sonar there, um, which makes it nice. Much larger display panel on, than what's on any of the other boats. And of course, this is the Elite Pro. On, uh, on the sonar here, here in Echo South. Let's get this thing fired up. Hello. There we go. I never noticed that. We have no gauges on this thing. I never noticed that before. I've been driving this boat for how long? I'll be damned. Okay. Let's see where we lose our sonar. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. And on the other bass boats, we lost it in. And get my lost it at 18 mile an hour. So we're at 19 and we're still good. 20, 22, 23, a little more, 5 is still there.
top speed down in Boston. Put you to fish. The depth finder's in a nice spot. That's a lot of boat front end out there. A lot. That's a lot, a lot of boat in front end. Now we're parked in the middle of this deck. You've got boat a lot. All right. I think all these all these trolling motors have the same amount of thrust. I don't see I can't really tell the difference where any of them are any more powerful than the other to tell you the truth um this one might be a little more zippy than the orion and but i don't know about that but there you have it guys that's pretty much our for uh, buck's performance on this boat being the Gary Scott Sagita Bass Boat. Nice boat, though. Quick and stable. All right, fellas. We'll see you next time.